Okay, third time is the charm here. I had to unplug my camera and get it all set up again. Um, so what we have going on here, Elliot, is this is a binomial, but it's also a factor, and this factor is being multiplied by this factor. So when we use the box method, we're clearly showing that this factor is being broken up into its two parts on this side of our box, and this factor is being broken up into its two parts up here. And then inside the box, as we multiply these two terms together, their result goes here. So 3 times 3 is 9, a times a is a squared. And then 3 times 3a, three or 3 times a, times negative 4 times b, I get the coefficients give me negative 12. And a times b gives me ab. So this reads negative 12 times a times b. This here is now 4b times 3a, and I get a positive 12, but I also get an ab because a times b gives me ab. And then positive 4b times negative 4b gives me negative 16, and b times b is b squared. Now, because we are uh, working on problems in 7.3 where the objective is about special products, this is a special product because these two terms are the same, and we have a negative and we have a positive of what is otherwise the same. What that does here is it creates a like term that zeroes out because negative 12 as a coefficient is the opposite of positive 12, and these are like terms because they're both a times b. That means that the only two terms that are left is 9a squared minus 16b squared. So I hope that this helps, um, and I'm checking my audio before I send it to you this time. Let me know if you have any further questions. Thanks.